guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be decluttering like fuchsias <laughs> i guess is probably the appropriate term it's the like more warmy pinky toned purples i started a new thing recently i mean it's not new necessarily but i am doing a little bit differently than i have been doing some of my other lipstick declutters where i am picking out the ones that i know for sure that i'm gonna get rid of just based on um, the fact that I tried on a bunch of these in the past couple weeks leading up to this and so I know a few of which ones I don't like. Then I'm going to swatch the remainders all next to each other on my hand to determine which ones are duped for each other and then I'll keep the ones that I like the best. So here's a couple I know for sure that I'm getting rid of. I still have them in the boxes even um, but I have tried them. These are by Real Her. I got them in a boxy charm and this one is a liquid lipstick. This one is a lip liner. So this is a lip liner in the shade I Am Unique. It's very, very drying on the lips. So I'm gonna pass that along. And then this is the same shade, but it's the liquid lipstick formula and has a different name. This one's I Am Fearless. This is such a bad liquid lipstick formula. Like it's so uncomfortable. It doesn't last, it's terrible. But it's the same shade as this, so I'm not gonna swatch it. The packaging is so pretty. <laughs> But like good packaging does not a good lipstick make. I'm also going to get rid of this one by Rimmel in the shade As You Want Victoria. It's pretty and I cannot tell you how many times I reached for it because it's been very few. It's really pretty shade but I honestly I always forget about it so I've got to pass that one along. Same with this one. This one's by Camila Cosmetics in the shade 44. Pretty but I never reach for it. Also this one is a little bit uncomfortable like it pulls like kind of tugs going on this one by H&M their velvet matte lip cream this one is about as bad as that real hurt one those two are probably the two of the worst liquid lipstick formulas I've ever tried this one is in the shade pep talk oh they're just so bad they're very similar formulas oh and this one's separated a little bit it's kind of oily that it's bleeding another one I never reach for this is by Milani it's the power lip in the shade pink lemonade it's like a liquid lipstick but it feels really hard to put on it's just not a nice creamy formula which is probably why i never reach for it not a huge fan of this one it's by la girl the cream lipstick in the shade last night it's fine i just have so many that i prefer over this one passing this guy on be a bombshell shameless lip crayon i think the shade is shameless this one is kind of a metallic shade I don't think it's super metallic but it kind of is a little bit and it's enough where i never i never wear it ever i guess i don't think i'm a huge fan of these applicators they're just not my favorite this one's by jingai it's a velvet shine lip jewel in the shade i do not know the shade it does not say another one that's just okay but i don't reach for it and then this one another one by h&m Again, pretty packaging. This one is just their, I think, cream lipstick in Dragon Fruit. I like it okay. I think it kind of bled on me a little bit, went outside of my lip lines. So I'm gonna pass that one on. So these are the ones I know I'm getting rid of. Let me take the swatches off and I will swatch the rest and see if there's any dupes. ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in More Better. My hand's already a little bit stained and these are gonna do it so much more. ColourPop matte lip in bad habit i can't remember if it was more better or bad habit but one of these i had such a hard time getting a hold of like it kept going out of stock or being out of stock every time i tried to buy it those two are very similar stila stay all day liquid lipstick in aria a little bit more cool toned nyx soft matte lip cream in prague those two are similar except for this one's lighter in camera it actually doesn't look like they're very similar revlon ultra hd matte lip color in addiction Ooh, those two are very similar the revlon and the stila two-faced melted liquid lipstick in melted berry i don't know that i'm a huge fan of this it's a little bit streaky i think i'm gonna get rid of that one but i already swatched it so i'm gonna keep it there so i don't forget which one it is just a couple more this is color pop ultra satin lip in the rabbit i'm definitely keeping this one it is so cool it's like hot pink but then it has a really pretty blue shift to it urban decay this is the gwen stefani collection you might still be able to get this shade though this might just be limited edition packaging this is in firebird oh that one's actually really similar to the rabbit wow 
Wait, this one has that blue shift too? I don't remember that. Well, that makes things interesting. And then finally, NYX Liquid Suede in Pink Lust or Passion Rose. This one's almost more pink than fuchsia. The other ones are a little bit more purple. Let's see. These two are really similar. This is the Stila in Aria and then the Revlon HD in Addiction. I think I'm gonna keep this formula because it's more comfortable, so I'm gonna get rid of the Stila one. I'm also going to get rid of the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick just because it's kind of patchy. These two are really similar as well. More Better by ColourPop on the top here and then Bad Habit on the bottom. I think I'm gonna keep Bad Habit just because it's a little bit lighter, so a little bit more wearable. And then I'm gonna get rid of more better, which is the top one here. It's a little bit darker. And these two are so similar. I don't know, I really like both of them. This one's a little bit glossier, the Urban Decay one versus the ColourPop one. So I think I'm gonna keep both of them. Yeah, I like both of them a lot. They're just so pretty. Even though they're like almost identical with that like fuchsia with that blue shift. I just like them both a lot. So let me quickly show you what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. So I'm just keeping six of these fuchsia colors and i'm getting rid of all of these 13 that's awesome i got rid of over two thirds if every single one of my lipstick declutters went as well as this one did that'd be amazing unfortunately they are not spoiler alert if you want to watch the other ones they'll be linked down in the description but i'm pretty proud of everything i'm getting rid of here so i hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for my future declutter videos and until next time i'll see you all soon bye